to wait it for the dog for the Halloween. Why? Because we have to wait for the Halloween. But it's June right now. We have to wait for the dog. So when it gets dark, it's Halloween? Yeah. How do you know? It's a dog to hunt. I'll show you how to do it. Hi YouTube, this is Sherry. I'm going to share with you a lot of little um, tips and tricks that I use for my cash envelope. I originally wanted to make my own, but I think I'm going to stick with this one that I have. Um, it's a coupon holder that I purchased when I was a 31 consultant a while ago, and it just holds all of um, the envelopes that we have. Um, I also keep the receipts for everything, so eating out money, um, entertainment, our household needs, gas, pharmacy, groceries, um, my daughter's personal money, as well as mine. And I also wanted to show, this is something, um, an idea I got from someone on one of my Facebook groups for Dave Ramsey. Uh, this is basically a toothbrush case from the dentist. And any money that I've been making, selling items, I put in here. And I've been keeping a list of, you know, all the sales and what I've used or spent from it as well. So I took basically all the money from here, which was $58, and we got paid today, which is Friday, June 17th. So this became our grocery money because I had the cash already and I didn't want to have to take out the money and then also deposit that. Um, so then I just took out the difference of the last two weeks and then I will put all of this into our grocery. Alright, so one of the things that a lot of people ask too with the cash envelope system is when you have to make multiple purchases from different um, envelopes, how do you do that? So I'm going to show you what I do. I've only done it a couple times so I can't say for sure this works perfectly but this is what I've done. So I know we're going to go to Target today and I have to get um, aspirin for my husband. So that's from our pharmacy fund. I need to get uh, his under his deodorant spray. So that's going to be household needs. It's more personal needs, but um, what I also do for a lot of the times is any items that we need extra for the whole house, I just put it in here, which is okay with us. And then the last thing is chocolate chips. I'm going to be baking... Um, sorry for the light in here. I'm in my closet. But I'm going to be baking some banana bread tomorrow or today. And I wanted to put chocolate chips in them. So that's going to be from the grocery fund. So I'm going to be guessing. Uh, it's going to be either two or three bucks. I had to take it out another dollar from the grocery for the chocolate chips. Pharmacy, it's going to be about five. And what I do is I will take my household fund from here. And I'll just use this amount in here which I usually put $30 so I think I've used $5 um, the other five I spent at the Dollar Tree store I bought some loofahs the spongy ones and some um, bubble bath for my daughter so I have $25 left in here and what I'll do is I will take this envelope only once I pay for um, these items and bring the receipt back I can see exactly how much and then I would just take like if it was five dollars I would put this in this fund along with the groceries in that fund to make up for the difference the other thing I'm thinking of doing with this is a lot of the times I will get change back obviously because I'm using cash and so I will normally just put the change in whichever envelope it goes to but I'm thinking I might just put it in one spot so that I can use it for any of the envelopes but at the same time like at the end of the week or end of the month I can put all the coins that are left over into 
um, one of our coin buckets. And then, because I've just recently deposited um, a big bucket of coins to our bank, and we got about two, uh, what was it, two, close to 280 or maybe 230 back. So this is the money again that I made from my book sales, $4. It's going into my payoff debt yo envelope. And currently I have 13 in there. I usually like to keep a running track in, of what's in here. So it's $4, so it's 17 total. So with this envelope, I normally will try either to deposit it when I have a large amount of money that way I know I won't end up spending it because um, the money that I did have in here, I think it was 24, I ended up buying some gifts because we have several birthdays coming up this weekend. So I use this money also for that kind of stuff, but I try not to, I really try not to. It's hard though sometimes. So either at the end of the month, I'll deposit it the amount whatever's in here or if I have a big amount usually if it's like $50 or something okay so that's the end of this video just a couple tricks and tips that I use in regards to our cash envelope um, a lot of it is still you know a work in progress or um, trial by error so things may change along the way but this is what we're doing right now as you can tell from the video, um, some of the clips were taken earlier than others, so I am still using the um, the toothbrush case. I'm no longer using the envelope, but I still do try to keep um, a running list of everything. The other thing that I noticed too is when I am doing the um, uh, you know buying multiple things from one store like I did at Target I would forget sometimes like okay I need to put this money back in here and, and this money back in here so I realize now that on my envelopes I need to actually write out this amount like what each of them has in, the, in there so I know at the end what needs to go back and where. Alright thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!